a disfiguring and distorting disease that leaves its victims with monstrous appearance. Elephantiasis is a very rare but horrible disease that gives its sufferers a resemblance with an elephant, characterized by terrible swelling of tissues and skin thickening of various body parts. Elephantiasis occurs as a result of parasitic invasion of filarial worms through bites of bloodthirsty mosquitoes, leading to the astonishing, grotesque ailment that shatters the lives of its victims. Elephantiasis, also known as lymphatic filariasis, turn beauties into beasts, exhibiting real-life nightmare and a cascade of irreversible symptoms. Let's move into depths to unravel the secrets of this unseen enemy and how this parasite could have this much strength to turn humans into elephants. What happens in lymphatic filariasis? Lymphatic filariasis, also referred to as elephantiasis, is a disease caused by obstruction of the lymphatic system in humans. The human lymphatic system is a subsystem of the circulatory system. It consists of a vast network of vessels and tissues that are responsible for keeping healthy fluid volume in the body. The lymphatic system consists of several organs like the thymus, spleen, lymph nodes, and bone marrow that are working in collaboration to keep balance in blood fluid volume. Lymph is a transparent to white fluid which majorly consists of white blood cells and fluid from the intestine containing proteins and fats. Lymph escapes from blood vessels and enters into tissues. The lymphatic system then takes this lymph from tissues and returns it to the lymphatic vessels. Once in the human body, parasites responsible for lymphatic filariasis directly move towards the lymphatic system wherein these parasites grow in the lymph nodes. As a result, the lymphatic system becomes weakened, obstructed, and unable to perform function properly. This obstruction results in the swelling and enlargement of lymph nodes due to the accumulation of lymph. The enlarged lymph nodes can be easily observed in certain body parts, including limbs, breasts, and genitals. These indications cause distorted and disfigured body parts, resembling an elephant, a reason why lymphatic filariasis is also referred to as elephantiasis. Tropical and subtropical regions of Asia, Africa, the Caribbean, and South America have reported most of the cases of filariasis. To date, approximately 120 million people are affected by filariasis. According to a report by the World Health Organization, the prevalence of filariasis has decreased, reaching 40 million people infected globally with this disease. What causes lymphatic filariasis? The actual cause of this illness is nematodes, particularly the filarial worms. These roundworms look like threads and are too small to be seen with the naked eye. Filarial worms live inside mosquitoes, and when an infected mosquito bites humans, the worms are transferred from the mosquito to a healthy human. These worms belong to the family Onchocerceti, and only three of them, such as Wuchereria bancrofti, Brugia malayi, and Brugia timori, are reported to be responsible for causing elephantiasis. The Wuchereria bancrofti affects breasts, legs, arms, scrotum, and vulva and is the most common cause of lymphatic filariasis responsible for causing 9 out of 10 infections. How does the transmission of filarial worms occur? Lymphatic filariasis is a mosquito-borne disease, meaning that it spreads through an infected mosquito bite to a healthy human. Mosquitoes of different genera, prominently Aedes, Anopheles, Culex and Mansonia, serve as the hosts of these pesky filarial worms. When a mosquito infected with filarial larvae bites a healthy human, the L3 stage infective larvae land on the human skin. Then, they enter into the bloodstream through the wound site. In the bloodstream of the host, the mature infective larvae find their way into the lymphatic system, subcutaneous tissues, and serous cavities, where the friendly environment assists them to develop and grow into adult worms. These worms can survive in the lymphatic system for approximately six to eight years. Adult worms reproduce multiple immature larvae called microfilariae. These microfilariae circulate in the blood and are taken up by another mosquito when it bites an infected individual for a blood meal. That's how this cycle continues, and transmission occurs from person to person. Symptoms Symptoms include severe inflammation due to the reactive response of the immune system against microfilariae and adult worms. Besides that, microfilariae and adult worms block the lymphatic vessels, due to which excessive lymph accumulation occurs in the lymphatic system. This condition, known as lymphedema or lymphedema, is the most apparent symptom of this illness. Simultaneously, edema is also observed, 
which leads to severe swelling of arms and legs or any of the body parts like breasts or genitals due to obstruction of lymphatic vessels and buildup of excess lymph in nearby tissues. This swelling thickening of skin and tissues gives similarity to an elephant. Ascites is also another associated symptom, characterized by fluid buildup in the abdominal cavity. Hydrocele is also a common complication in which fluid accumulates in the scrotum. Complications of lymphatic filariasis. The lymphatic system is responsible for fighting against pathogenic invasions. In lymphatic filariasis, the lymphatic system is not functioning properly, so the patient will be more prone to bacterial infections. Excessive enlargement of body parts due to fluid accumulation is the most severe complication of this ailment. Sometimes, pulmonary eosinophilia syndrome is also an indication of lymphatic filariasis. The number of eosinophils increases abnormally to counter infections that will eventually lead to trouble breathing and severe coughing. Diagnosis Healthcare providers will observe the most apparent symptoms, like swollen body parts and thickened tissues. Then, further tests will be used to confirm the presence of filarial worms. Microscopic testing of the patient's blood will give evidence of filarial worm infection. Filarial worms move in blood only at night time, making them nocturnally periodic in nature, so it is recommended to take blood samples at night time. Blood samples on a glass slide, smeared, and stained with Gimsa stain, will make filarial worms easily visible under the microscope. Antibody testing is also suggested for diagnosing lymphatic filariasis because filarial worms evoke the immune system, so the antibody count will provide a better approach to confirming the presence of nematodes in blood. Polymerase chain reaction is also used for the detection of filarial worms' DNA. Ultrasonography is also recommended for capturing the movement of worms in blood specimens. Treatment Anthelmintic agents are the first choice for treating lymphatic filariasis. Anthelmintic or antiprotozole, such as albendazole used with ivermectin or diethylcarbamazine, have shown potential synergistic effects in alleviating the symptoms. Wolbachia bacteria inhabit the guts of microfilariae, providing them with certain nutrients and assisting them in their survival. An antibiotic like doxycycline kills Wolbachia bacteria, thus limiting the survival rate of microfilariae and ceasing their transformation into adult worms. Treatment with doxycycline requires four to six weeks to eliminate the microfilari from the patient's body. Surgery is suggested in case of hydrocele or scrotal enlargement due to fluid buildup in lymph nodes near the genitals. However, surgery is ineffective if limbs are swollen due to excess lymph accumulation. Prevention of lymphatic filariasis. No vaccine has been made to prevent lymphatic filariasis. Protect yourself from mosquito bites by using insect repellent mosquito nets and by wearing clothes that fully cover your body. Use insect sprays to kill mosquitoes in nearby areas. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. And as always, stay curious and keep exploring.